actually National Geographic is getting canceled on cancel culture too because anyway that's a whole nother stream of thought they are actually claiming themselves that they've been racist because they've been doing all these uh, articles on indigenous tribes I'm like you know most people appreciate that because that was the only exposure we had to these indigenous people but now they're actually calling themselves out saying they were racist which I think that's just stupid but anyways how are they racist because they said they are exploiting these indigenous cultures. And I was like, you're actually providing education. How else would the normal public even know about these people unless people like you went out there, filmed it, talked about it, shared their story so people like us could learn about it? And what if we, you know, we're never going to go out there. That's not racist. That's education. You're not exploiting them like profiting, turning them into slaves, trying to make them American. You're just telling them their story. But anyways. Yeah, I learned so much from them. Like when I was in middle school. I remember going to the libraries and that's what I would read. Like everybody would get their Harry Potter and all that stuff, but no, not me. I would go straight to the Discovery uh, Channel. Um, National Geographic. Well, National Geographic and Discovery Channel. Uh, the Discovery and National Geographic um, magazines. And, you know, you flip it open and you flip it sideways and you get full views of what the people look like there. Um, I learned a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you couldn't get my nose out of those books in the library. Yeah. Well, I, I'm not specifically talking about things like those, but, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I guess it's still, it's exposure, <laughs> but I always appreciate all of it. Like they would show exotic close-up of animals, which, I mean, that costs a lot of money. Somebody's got to do all that. They showed how these indigenous cultures live, what kind of food, what kind of uh, hunting styles. They did all this stuff. They weren't being racist. They were educating. But they are calling themselves out, saying, we fired every single old writer we have, and we are now changing the way we do things because we think we were being racist. So what are they going to start doing, showing Mexicans I and have, white people? Maybe just, maybe it's going to be exclusive white people now mm -hmm. because, you know, that's the new demographic uh, of, uh, of exploitation. You can exploit white people. It's fine. Are they still going to put white people in these magazines where you can flip it Well, those are probably the only people now. And then I'm going to say, now, now it seems like you're just favoriting white people because the only thing we can find in your magazine now is white people because you don't want to expose any other culture because you think you're being racist. All we're going to see now is white people. Now it's going to seem biased. I think this is going to, this is going to flip the script. Anyways, if we're going off topic, but I just think this is, that itself was interesting. Maybe they'll show us some, somebody actually wiping themselves with this devil's toilet paper in the magazine. And that would be cool because I would like to see the effects of that. 